no touching, <laughs> no telling anybody I yeah. love you. Yes. That was out of the the, the topic. Mm -hmm. So uh, our chairman at that particular time told us that if we will see anybody behind the dormitory <laughs> or behind <laughs> the church <laughs> telling with a girl or yeah. a boy, yeah. Uh, you will know, you don't know. Oh. So, <laughs> so at that particular time, yeah. uh, when maybe I'm going to to toilet, maybe wakati uh, mwingine anajifanya tu. Ata yanaenda. Anaenda tu. Wakati tunapitana, I just say to her, yeah. I love you. <laughs> she look at... <laughs> Another side say, yeah. because maybe there are some eyes and we don't see yes, them. Yes. Maybe they are trying to to look at us. So, it, it took some time. But, but you're telling her you love her. You must have loved her immediately. Ilia jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted just to see. Kwambali? Yeah. yeah. Is it a little person that I want? Yes. Or she wanted to joke with my mind. Uh, so I took some time yeah. to understand. And then yeah. I was not interested in ladies because back uh, I was, I had some uh, heartbreaks. Yeah. And so, you know, some, uh, when you, 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 you remember your story, yes. maybe there is some lady cause pain in your, sure, in your life, sure, sure. you fear them. So it took some time. <laughs> she was calling me yeah. her brother in Christ. Oh. The love came through brother in Christ. <laughs> and Nikweli? Yeah, yeah. Nikweli? Well, you were brother in Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Ay. And then when did you decide, uh, and when did you decide this is the man? Actually, I'm the one who approached him. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the one who approached him because yeah. we had met some years back, so I was just I was just looking at him and the day the day I came and I finally told him to give me his number. After he I, I was just telling him to give me his number as a brother, but I had an intention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had an intention, had an but intention. I didn't. I didn't want to disclose it to him at that point. Yeah. So I had to play my maths well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lenny, yes. what is your story? How did you meet this fellow in, and decide to come to Kibra? Uh, actually, it was my first weekend in Kenya. I had just arrived and uh, from Germany. Yes. And had you had you been to Kenya before? No, it was my first time. So I had just arrived uh, and I knew some people here, so they took me to this dance event. It was about cultural dance and he's actually a very good dancer. So I saw him at this dance event and yeah. Do you like his dance went. moves? <laughs> yes, a lot. He's a good dancer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny is smiling. He's <laughs> so, okay, did, did you notice her that day that you guys were dancing? Uh, yes, a bit. Not uh, really, because for me, I was working mm -hmm. and I was wearing a mask, so oh. I wasn't allowed to remove it and to... I was just allowed to hype the crowd. So, yeah, but at some point I saw her. Uh, yeah, she, she could dance too, so I was <laughs> like, we're just vibing together. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, she was like, oh, can I see your face? And I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I was telling her, okay, if you want to see my face, let's go backstage and I'll show you. Oh. And she was like, no, you're a stranger. I can't just go with you. Imagine, like, okay. it's, my first, it's my first weekend in Kenya. Yeah. I meet this guy. He, he doesn't want to show me his face, but he wants to go backstage with me. It sounded fishy. <laughs> <laughs> But what were you doing in Kenya? Were you on holiday? Were you working? Um, were you, uh... I was doing an internship for six months. I studied social work, so it was part of my studies. I worked for six months in Korogocho. Mm. Yes. Before that? Yes. Before Kibra? Yes. <laughs> okay, so did he take you to the back of the stage? No. <laughs> I refused. <laughs> And then what, he took your number or you uh, uh, yeah. He was asking me for my Instagram mm -hmm. and I was like, ah, I don't know, I don't know. So the event was about to finish. It was coming to an end. 
and he was just leaving. He told me I have to change and I have to go home. And yes, when he came back from changing and he was about to leave, he was at the exit. That's when I decided, oh my God, I have to get his number. I have to get. But how did you know what he looked like? He had a mask before. How did you know? I, you, I, you, you saw I still his... saw the hair and everything, you know, his dreadlocks. <laughs> I, I, knew. <laughs> I knew them. And back then he used to have a blonde dye in his hair, so mm. I remembered his oh, okay. hairstyle. Okay. And when, when, when she came, and uh, did you give her your Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else did you give No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you gave her your Instagram and then you guys continued to communicate? Yes, yes. we started texting. Uh huh. And I think after one or two weeks we met again. And? We met with a group of friends and yeah, it was really nice. And since then we, like, we spent every weekend together, every weekend. Like, first as friends and he was showing me around. We did so many things together. So I was new in this country, so I really enjoyed having someone showing me around. Mm. and. We were doing things, so... Were you in love? <laughs> uh, I would say it took some time, but I realized early that he's very special. Yeah? Yes. Vinny, were you in love? Uh, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> at that time, yeah. I wasn't looking for something. Right. You know, I was just, uh, okay, we are friends. Yeah, you know, and you're a good I, guide. Yeah, 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 I'm a good guide, yeah. So I was just like, you know, uh, yeah, vibing with her and yeah, before she left, it was like a, a week before she left, and uh, I just felt some type of way. And that's when I knew, like, I would love to try something with her. Yes. Yeah. What, what, what did you try? <laughs> like, like uh, being something, like, you know, being in love now. Uh -huh. Yes. So, yeah, I told her I love her. Oh, <laughs> yes. sweet. Hold that thought. Wilson, Ann, you, we did a story on you on Citizen Television, right? Remember, uh, seven yes. years ago? Yeah. You remember that story, right? Mm. Yeah. Where it cost you 100 shillings to get married, right? Mm. Tell us the story, Wilson. OK, the story, OK, uh, for us, it was not, uh, we have no intention to show people that uh, we, you can do 100 with 100 shillings. That was not our intention. Mm, mm. Uh, what we wanted is to have our big wedding uh, with a gown, suit, mm. uh, good guys, uh, something like that. Mm. But I planned for, for, for like four times to have a wedding. I tried to get my committee to support, to, to, to maybe to support me with some money, but it didn't happen. Four, so I cancelled for like four, four times. When it came to, oh, when I decided to have a good wedding, but when I talked to my lady here, she told me, I'm ready to do anything. I'm ready if you have money, yeah. if you don't have money. Yeah. She was supporting me all the way all the way uh, uh, because yeah. each and everything i yeah. plan i was informing her okay lakini ulikuwa ukifanya kazi gani then i was hustling and the, the hustle <laughs> 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 no what's your gope it was painful serious yeah it was painful really yeah for that Particular. Okay, Uliko Makanga, Uliko, uh, you know. I was, I was a rider. I was a rider. Oh, border, border. Okay. I was a, I was a Mokokotene rider. Okay. Because Mokokotene haikuwa yangu. Right. You, uh, you, I was selling fruits, but the fruits that I was selling was not mine. I was being paid, paid by commission. By the owner, correct. By com uh, with commission. And did you know this? Uli Uli at first, I didn't know because he used to lie to me. Oh. But I came to realize after. What did he say he was doing? Yeah, I knew he was a fruit vendor, but uh. I didn't know that he was employed. I just knew it was his. A fruit vendor? Yeah, I just came to know it was not his afterwards. Okay, so you must have been in love with him. 
Yeah. What what is it about him that you liked? I liked the fact that he was open with himself. I mean, he was just open with me. And I love the fact that, <clears throat> sorry, I love the fact that he was in, he was, I loved everything about him. I don't know what to say. I loved everything about him, oh. yeah. Okay, so the 100 shillings. Was it for registration, for registrar, or was it for the <laughs> license? No, no, uh, no, no, no. The there 100 shillings, there was no registration, in fact. There's no event. The 100 shillings. A certificate. <laughs> a certificate. There is no, no. even a certificate. So, so, you require any mandazim bill in our chai? No. The 100 waiting, <laughs> it is according to the money that we spent that time. All the money that we spent that time, it is only 100 shillings. So what did you use the 100 for? Uh, okay, to me, I wanted to, to, to do that on my own yes. way. Because for me, I was feeling that like I'm not doing the right thing. Because she was waiting for good and she was even uh, informing her friends, I have a wedding, mm -hmm. and then you hear that you are coming to be married with the Hardishins. You know, that is, <laughs> that is something you cannot <laughs> even tell your friends. So, uh -huh. sure, sure. Uh, but, she, but she stuck with you? Yeah, of course. How could help her? And the good thing is that I want to break up now. Mm. Because, wait, wait. Yeah. Ulumambia? Yeah. Because me, I have no money. I have nothing. Mm -hmm. The money that I was expecting, Imeenda na manayo. Imeenda. I'm expecting nothing for now. Kwa hivyo tu wachane. So tu wachane. Akisa maje? She cried. Oh. <laughs> I can remember that she tr she cried. And is it true? Yeah, it's true. Ukalia. Yeah, because I was really in love with this guy and the fact that he's do he doesn't have money, I still I still loved him mm. the way he was. Mm. Yeah. Tell me, kulikuwa honeymoon? Uh, ingekuwa, <laughs> honeymoon ingekuwa. But, <laughs> but, but because of the situation, and yeah. even the house that I was living at that particular mm. time, ilikuwa inanyesha. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, Uko nyahururu? No, here in Kasarani. The house that I was living, wakati kuna nyesha, nilikuwa na odoa bed, and then mvoi kikisha, Unarudisha pe? Unarudisha pahari inafa. Kai muatan. It, it was painful. Mm. For me, mm. in, in, in those like two, two, three months, nilikuwa naona like I'm dreaming. Because I was, I was, yet I was not planned mm. anything about it. All right, hold that thought. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> Lenny, so you and uh, Vin, uh, he's showing you the, 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 the town, the city, the, the area. Mm -hmm. When did he first take you home? Um, so I think when we started texting, he was already telling me he's from Kibera, so he didn't want to hide it. He didn't want to make a secret out of it. And I was working in Kogosha, so I already knew how slums are looking like. And I think he took me home after around two months. Yeah. Two months? Yes. Vini, Kwani, Ulukoki, do? Kwani, Mechil, do. Akuna Raga. Akuna Raga. Maybe one and a half, I'm not sure. Yes, probably two. Yeah, yeah around two, two, I think. Yeah. And when you, f when you went to his place, what was it like? Uh, so he was staying alone. He had a nice place. It was really spacious, and uh, he was arranging it well. So it was nice. I felt comfortable. The only thing which was missing was the toilet. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Let's come to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard about Kibra and the flying toilets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I heard about it too. <laughs> I've never tried it myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to go outdoors. Yes, they're like public toilets. Right. And did you did you make a line? Did you have to stand in line or uh, or no. time it when there's nobody? No, I think most of the times there there are a lot of toilets, so there are no lines, but you have to pay ten bob. 
to enter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And the, the worst part was during the night. During the night, you can't go to the toilet because Why? it's dangerous and the toilets are closed. Hmm. So the only option was a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so this young lady from Germany, <laughs> yeah? first world country, comes here and she's squatting in a bucket <laughs> at night. Yes, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Vinny, mm. how did you feel about that? I, 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 I was, I was so, I would say embarrassed because, yeah. you know, like for for her, it's not a, uh, it's not like a thing to use a bucket, <laughs> you know, and. Uh, like probably she has never slept in uh, in the hood, like yeah. in a house like that. Yeah. And uh, it was tough for her, but uh, I was telling her, you know, that's the only option now. If you, because there's a night she was like, oh, I really have to go. I have to go. Washroom. I was like, I have to go. Yeah, we can't, we can't, we can't go outside right now because it's so dangerous. But I have this bucket here, you know. <laughs> I'll just close my eyes because <laughs> yes. there's no other option, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, like at first even I was so scared to take her to my place because I was like, what would she think about me? Mm. I'm from Kibera mm. and stuff. But yeah, it was good. She and, loved it. Yeah, yeah. She was the, very comfortable. Very, yes. Lenny, okay, so you're staying with uh, Vinny and uh, you're having a good time. Have you told your parents at that time that you've fallen in love with this guy in the slums? Uh, not at that time. But I was telling them when I was still in Kenya. I remember it very well. I was calling my mom video call and I was smiling. Like I had a big, big smile and my mom was like, what's up? And she was guessing it. She was like, you fell in love, right? And I was like, yes, because she, she could know with the smile I had. So that's when I told her. And I think a few days later, Vin even introduced himself on video, on video call. On yeah. video call, yeah. And? Yeah, they get they got along very well from the beginning. <laughs> yes, like they, they didn't say who's this guy with the dreadlocks and the <laughs> and the shirt that's half open, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my parents they are very open-minded and they are very fl friendly. Mm. So of course they they were checking how he is, like his personality and everything. But my mom was saying, "Oh my God, I, I the smile you have, I've never seen you smiling like oh. this. So if you're happy, I'm happy." Yeah. V Vinny, are your parents around? Yes. Did you introduce uh, Lenny to your parents? Uh, yeah, but uh, not uh, that soon. Because, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know, parents, like our parents, you know, so yeah. there's a day we were leaving the house and then, so I was leaving and then my dad was coming to mm -hmm. say hi to mm -hmm. me. And that's, like, it wasn't supposed to be like that. Right. I wasn't supposed to introduce her yet. Right. And then... Yeah, uh, he met uh, Lenny and and he was like, who's this? I was like, ah, this is just my friend. <laughs> and that's when, uh, yeah, I, I just in introduced her. Yeah. And I was like, ah, this is just a friend of mine. She came to visit. So she was like, ah, no, my dad was like, ah, I want to see her again. So I was like, okay. So I, I took Lenny to my dad and uh, I introduced uh, her to my dad, yeah. Yes, as friends. And of yes. course, you got along very well. Yes, yes. Yeah. I had to take lunch, obviously. When you enter a Kenyan house, you have to eat. Yes, yes. Yeah, but it was nice. Yeah, it what, what did you eat? Ugali? Uh, yes, Skuma. Ugali and Skuma Wiki. Uh -huh. I think Ugali and Skuma Do you like it? Yes, I like it. Vince Dad is actually a really good chef. He used to work in a big hotel. Mm -hmm. So I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still love it. I still love, we still love to go there and eat, and I love his food. Yeah. So how much later did you all decide to get married? Uh, like... Six months, a year? No, uh, one and a half years. Yes, later, half yes. Years. Wow. Because she had to go back to Germany. Oh. We had a long distance for six months. Okay. Yes. Yes. You had to go back to what? Finish? Finish my studies. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And then you, you decided, I'm going to go back. Yes, actually... Before, I'm, like I'm going to go back to squat in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was not the reason, but yeah, I decided to come back. Actually, we've been already talking about me coming back before I even left, if this could be an option. Yeah. And then... And, mm, 
and you all decided this is it. We're gonna you finish your studies, come yeah, yeah I, we'll live was, together. It was like that, you know, but uh at at the start it wasn't easy just oh, okay you'll go and come back, mm. you know. Mm. It was tough because you know like you're getting connected to someone and then they're they're yeah. they're leaving. Yeah. And then you know at that point uh I wasn't sure about everything because uh, she was still seeing someone. So oh. I knew if she goes oh, back, oh, she Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. You just said that very casually. <laughs> Lenny had somebody in Germany. Yes. Yeah, at the beginning when we at the be yes, when did, we did you have somebody in Kenya? No. Did you have somebody when she went away? No. <laughs> 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 so you're a loyal man. Yes, I Okay, so uh, Lenny, you, you, left, you left the guy in the end, you decided? Uh, actually, during my stay in Kenya, I decided that's not it, and I developed feelings for him. So I felt like, okay, I have to make a cut here before it's getting bad. <laughs> yeah. So after a few months, I decided to uh, to end this relationship, and then I was still spending time with Vin, and we got to know each other better. Yes, but when I left to Germany, he was scared that I might go back to him, but it never happened. It never happened? <laughs> no, I never planned. Like, I, I never wanted to go back. I always knew I would want this guy. <laughs> and when you decided to get married, your parents showed up? Yes, they came to Kenya. Yes, it was really nice. Even my brothers, they also came. Who proposed? Me. <laughs> How'd you do it? Uh... I just, uh, okay, at first, before I did it, I had to go to ask her, like, if she's okay with it and stuff. So she, she gave me, uh, she was like, ah, yes, I am. So she, di she didn't know the dates, but I knew she's okay with that. So there's a day we went out with uh, one of my best friends. Uh, so I told her that I want to propose, and we organized something. We went out and... Uh, yeah, we were drinking some juice, and then I just removed the ring, and I was walking around, I was thinking, should I do it? And I was nervous, and there are people. Yeah. So, yeah, I just went on my knees, and I did it. Oh, I asked, sweet. Oh, yeah. Describe the wedding, Lenny. Uh, first because we have, we have some pictures here, we're gonna show as, as you, yeah, go on. Uh, first, you also have to mention that you asked my dad. This was really fun. Uh, yes, I, I asked uh, oh. the dad first as well. For permission. And uh, nice. the dad was like, I want 25 camels. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, where will I get this now? Yeah? <laughs> 25 camels. 25 camels. It was still it still to waiting. Germany. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. I have to put them in a flight. Yeah. Germany yeah. first. Yes. No, Whoa. but yeah. It, but and then he said, "Okay, everything." Yes. He was kidding, obviously. Yeah, this, yeah, my yeah. dad is a just, joker. Yeah, just joking. <laughs> nice. He likes to nice. joke a lot. How's the wedding? The wedding was beautiful. Actually, we also had a very low budget wedding because we didn't have a lot of money at that time. I just finished my studies. I came back. We were staying here for some time, and I was trying to find a job, but it was really tough for me. So. We didn't have a lot, but we tried with the help of friends to have a nice wedding. Actually, um, we had a friend, uh, no, we had a, uh, a friend bringing the cake. The wedding clothes were made by a friend of Vin. Um, we had friends who did the music for us. Mm. Yes. The other friend, she uh, arranged the decoration and she was uh, having like a room in her apartments. Mm. Uh, you guys have a lot of good friends. Yeah. We, yes. we had yeah, good friends. My yeah. family with the Matatu, because yes. you know, uh, <laughs> we had to sort that too Beautiful. for them to come. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, honeymoon. Uh, actually, we didn't have money for a honeymoon, but my parents they were very generous. Yes. And so they yeah. Yeah, they they <laughs> they gave us like a trip to Diani. Yes. For honeymoon. Yeah. Nice. Yes. So we went to Diani yeah. together. And that's a year ago in change, or? Yes, no, it's like almost a year. Almost we have a year. An, uh, our anniversary in a few days, yeah. What, what was the date? Uh, you forgot? 30, no, 31st of March. <laughs> oh, yes. nice. Month, huh? Last day of March. Very no, 1st of March. 1st of March. Sorry. First of <laughs> <laughs> oh, I and wanted to say March, and then I was thinking about the three. It's 1st of March. Oh, 3-1, 3-1 or 1-3. Yes. Very good.
Very good. Okay, we're going to take a break, come back and talk some more. Uh, Wilson and Ann, we talk some more. Okay. I love these stories, man. You guys are fantastic stories. It's so uplifting. That's what we need once in a while. These are real, genuine stories. I couldn't pretend to have a real. Yeah. It's the real deal, holy field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about here on Jeff Koenange Live. Do you like the stories? What do you think? Your thoughts? Keep tweeting at Koenange Jeff, at Citizen TV Kenya, the hashtag JK Live. JK Live takes a break. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs>